A veteran program meant to make disabled veterans homes safer left a series family with a structure that is now unfit for an army veteran with ALS. Yeah, this veteran has not been able to live in his own home for the past four years. KCRA 3's Kay Reese talked with his family and explains why one lawmaker is getting involved now. Two veterans grants two contractors over the course of four years, and still the Torres home is not safe for Army veteran Frank Torres. Sometimes I just feel like packing it up and just moving. His wife Paula says the house is so unsafe, Frank has been living at a veterans facility in the Bay Area. Desperate for answers, she turned to Representative Josh Harder. The bad news is it hasn't worked, and there's no accountability, there's no oversight. Congressman Harder says he and his office have been working to set things right, but getting answers from the VA has not been easy. What the VA has told us is they see no problems with this situation whatsoever. They think that Frank can move in. Paula says the first contractor was approved by the Veterans Affairs Office. And then I come to find out that he wasn't going to lift it up, and I says, well, that's what the issue was all about so Frank's wheelchair can move about and he can be with his family. The second contractor fixed some of the issues, but she says he left even more problems. These windows are new. Yeah, I just have to use a lot of muscle. The unfinished bathroom, the stubborn windows and an uninsulated ceiling. Paula says she hopes to get some straight answers from the VA so that one day her husband may return. It's sad. I don't even know if I can take care of them anymore. In series, K Reseed, KCRA 3 News. And the congressman tells us that his office is working with a few other Valley families facing similar issues. KCRA reached out to the Veterans Affairs Office. We're still waiting for a reply. As for the contractors, we've yet to hear from one of them, and the other simply said no comment.